<laughs> hey, what's up, Garden friends? Jeff here, Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? Hope you're good. I'm great. There's DE powder everywhere out here. Just dusty, dustiness all over the place, but it's necessary. The bugs have been intense. What are you, Toby? You have a bath, you gotta go wallow in the dirt? That's nice. Very nice of you. Literally, maybe 10 minutes ago, I just gave him a bath. Hanging basket time. Did I really not prepare for this? There we go. <laughs> That'll have to do. Sometimes you just gotta work with what you got, right? Now, I picked up these hanging baskets in a vlog a few weeks ago. They were super cheap. I need to get my baskets going for my front porch, which is kind of a complicated area. You may have remembered me talking in other videos. I have a big Japanese maple out there that died and I'm uncertain of the sun, but the past few years when I planted up my hanging baskets with plants that needed a lot of sun, they didn't do that well. But there was a really big Japanese maple in the way. So I had planned and already purchased the plants to go more towards the part sun side of things as far as lighting goes. And then the Japanese maple didn't flush back out this year. So I'm just, I'm just gonna go with it. Go with the original plan and see what happens. And just a heads up, I'm doing this by dividing up other hanging baskets that I got super cheap on sale from like Lowe's and other local nurseries. So it's gonna look kind of shabby, but saving some money here. That's it. Simple, easy, and cheap. That's my favorite part. Dividing up other baskets and mix them together, making it your own, save some money. But there are downsides, like some plants don't really respond very well to being divided up. Like this Iconia begonia. I put one of these in each corner of the basket, one on this side, and there's another one back here. I put some little stakes in there to help hold them up too, which ultimately is probably kind of pointless. I think I'm probably gonna take my pruners and cut that in half so that it'll put out some fresh roots and take off and be a bit more of a sturdy plant. Here in the center is an electric lime coleus, creeping Jenny down the front, which the colors go very well with the electric lime coleus. A magenta impatient, no name, just an impatient. Then I put these purpley blue bacopas on each side that don't have a name. Those will look a lot better when they put out some more flowers too. The whole thing, well, it's gonna have to do some recovering. That's totally normal when you're dividing things up. Everything that's in here will do just fine with part sun and part shade. The impatience can take a lot more sun than I think people give them credit for. The begonia, the Iconia begonias that are over here, they, uh, are really the only wild card in this basket. Because when the intense heat of the summer kicks in, sometimes even part sun seems to be a little bit too much for them. I tried these out last year, and then when it got really hot, I moved them into the shade, and they still just like, they weren't having it. They're also very fragile. They just fall apart when you barely touch them. Pretty typical for a tuberous type begonia. And then the other risk that goes in with them is that being a tuberous type begonia, being crowded, if things are too wet and moist, then they could be very susceptible to powdery mildew. 
but I don't think that's really going to be a problem since they're in a hanging basket. They're going to be up in the air. Air will be flowing around them, so that should prevent that from being an issue. When I get these hung up, I am also going to have them on drip so there's not going to be water pouring all over the foliage. That's another really good way to prevent powdery mildews, keeping the foliage dry. Worst case scenario, pull them out and I throw in some orange impatience. I think that'll look just as good. I really like having Creeping Jenny in these baskets, especially with the Bacopa on the sides. And that's because both of these are trailers, or spellers I should say, that have a very tight growth habit. So what I mean by that is they're going to be really close together. They're going to go kind of straight down. The Bacopa will fan out a little bit more than the Creeping Jenny, which is, like I said, going to go straight down. But it's not something like a Super Tunia that gets really big and fluffy. I made sure that the soil I was using in this is very organically rich, but also well-draining. By organically rich, what I mean is I stick a standard potting soil and throw in some compost in there with it to help liven the potting soil up. I also put some slow-release fertilizer in there and some Espoma Biotone Starter. Oh, and a pretty hefty amount of sand. Just wanted to keep the drainage really good in these. It's one of my favorite things about coleus is that you can put them in the sun or in the shade. Not all of them. This electric lime coleus is one of those that can go full sun or shade. The more sun it gets, I think the more yellowy it's going to be. Whereas the more shade it gets, the more green it's going to have into the veining. Into the vein. In the veins. You know what I mean. Now, and you can see here, like I was talking about, these Iconia begonias, they just, they don't like being messed with. Very fragile. I have the stakes in there. I still think it'd be best to probably cut those in half. Even though I really do like the texture. I like having the contrast of textures that are in there. The flowers on this variety have a slight hint of pink on the inside of them. Particularly on the back sides of the flowers. There's more of a peachy pink color. And you still get some of that in the front in that kind of orangey yellow. Like I said, might be kind of messy, but cheap. As little as two to three weeks, gonna look fantastic. But talk about quick and easy. Another great thing about just dividing up planters. I mean, I guess it's probably a little bit faster to just buy them in little four inch and six inch annual pots than have to divide them. But you, you know what I mean. What are some of your guys' experiences with these Iconia begonias? I have had mixed results with them for the most part. They do really well for me until it gets really, really hot out. Which is one of the things that I think is going to lend the Bacopa to do fairly well with where these are going to be going in my front yard. It's morning sun, afternoon shade, and the Bacopa, usually, as much as they enjoy sun, when it gets really hot outside, they seem to do a lot better when they're getting shade in the afternoon. This little wonky branch here on that coleus is kind of driving me crazy. It's fine. You do you. I'm going to leave you alone for now. I, do, I really want to cut that off. It'll straighten out in no time. Yeah, like I said, let me know some of your experiences with the begonias, the bacopas, these coleus, some of the fun things you've been doing with your baskets. I'll be sure to have updates posted on my social media. I say that in pretty much every video. I'll update with how things are doing and progressing as well as in future garden tours. And I have my social media linked down below, so follow me on there if you want to stay up to date with those sorts of things. I'm on Instagram way more than anything else. Comment down below. Say hi. Love talking to everybody and hearing from everybody. And don't forget to leave the video a thumbs up. It makes a big difference for the channel. I really do appreciate it and subscribe as well and hit the notification bell because I upload multiple times a week. And yes, I know, it's crowded. It's fine. Don't worry. They're annuals. It's fine. Everything's going to be okay. I like a hanging basket where things tend to like bulge and fall out the sides. Really nice and full things. Instant gratification. It's only going to be together for like three and a half, four months. So it's just, it's not that big of a deal. And if things start to seem smothered, that's what pruning's for. All right, now that I got that out of the way. Hope everybody's having a great day, great life. Everything's just going beautifully for you. And as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.